No seats, no flights. Are your frequent flyer miles getting you nowhere? The airlines don't care anymore. Our travel detectives tips to turning miles into tickets in today's consumer payoff. You know, all those frequent flyer programs are supposed to help you see the world without spending a lot of money. So why are so many people getting nowhere fast? Reporter Mike Bryant gets some answers from Extra's Travel Detective. It's the only card that always gives you double miles. You are now free to move about the country. We're flooded with frequent flyer come-ons every day. And we're not just reaping rewards for flying anymore. Miles for every little thing you buy. Anything you can put on plastic. Half of all frequent flyer miles are racked up on the ground. I actually have over 4 million miles on American. But before you keep piling up the points, you should know that a shocking 92% of all frequent flyer miles never get cashed in. The airlines will do everything they can to deny you a frequent flyer ticket. Extras travel detective Peter Greenberg says limited seats, expiration dates, restricted upgrades, and more blackout dates, the major airlines added 20 new ones just last year, make it almost impossible to cash in on what you've worked so hard to earn. You want to go to Des Moines on a Wednesday? No problem. Want to go to Hawaii anytime in the next millennium? Start swimming. That's not what frustrated frequent flyers want to hear. They had all kinds of caveats, reasons that you suddenly could not use your miles. It's usually not that easy because the seats are always taken. The airlines don't care anymore. They love the programs because they make money from them. No kidding. They're making a killing, about two cents for every mile earned through partner companies like credit cards, hotels, and rent-a-cars, adding up to hundreds of millions of dollars a year. Since there's no law making the airline tell you how many frequent flyer seats are on any flight, if there are any at all, you've got to beat them at their own game. So how do you turn those miles into an actual ticket? Think alternate airports. Be flexible on your departure time. Book well in advance and never take no for an answer. If a clerk says there aren't any seats available, ask for a supervisor. If you still get a no, try calling that carrier's partner airline. It may have more seats. Kate's mom could have made it because there were no frequent flyer seats available. Or look into Web Miles, one of the new internet services claiming to turn your points into unrestricted free tickets. If you're not smarter about playing the mileage game, you may find yourself grounded. Our travel detective, Peter Greenberg, has more tips on saving money, including the best day to buy a plane ticket. Find out which one by logging onto our website at extratv.com.